Well, it seems that everyone is in on the learner legal market in Australia these days, even all the European manufacturers. Now, Triumph already had the basis of a good Lambs bike in its Street 6675. In Australia, you need to be 660cc or under and be within a certain power to weight ratio. So all Triumph had to do was reduce the stroke of the three cylinder engine, got it back to 660cc, mucked around with some of the camshaft design, played around with the ECU and that's untamperable and voila, they had a great learn legal bike. Now let's take a quick look at the sort of specification of this bike. Bear in mind there's two normal street triple models you can get, the standard and the R. And the R has uprated suspension and brakes, where this one here has got unadjustable forks, Kiyaba rear shock, or suspension's Kiyaba both ends. It's adjustable for preload only. The instruments are pretty high tech really. Uh, it's the same as found on the, uh, the bigger capacity street triple models. You get twin trip computers, you even get a lap timer. There's a whole heap of accessories too. You can get a nice screen, belly pan, and generally speaking, it's been a pretty popular package in 675 form, and I'd see no reason why the 660 Lambs version is gonna be any less popular. Now, even though it's a Lambs bike, I know you're wondering what sort of horsepower it's got. Well, it's got 55, which is 40.6 kilowatts. So it just scrapes under the 150 kilowatt per ton ratio that's needed for a Lambs bike in Australia. Now I've done plenty of miles on the Street 6675 and, and to be honest with, with you, I, I'm a big fan of the bike. Well, what's this like compared to that? Well, it uses the same platform, so it does stop and handle as good as the 675. Of course it's got the less horsepower, but really down the bottom and even mid-range, it feels still pretty strong. It's really only to the top end that you'll notice a major difference between the two. It's one of the... I guess the more powerful learned legal bikes out there and uh, service intervals are 10,000 kilometers which is pretty good these days. It's got plenty of space for a guy my size, six foot and you know carrying a few pounds to feel comfortable on. The suspension is a little bit firm in the rear end but you can play around with a the preload there so that's okay. It's a sort of bike really that you don't necessarily have to sell it and update to something bigger just because you've got your full license. I think a lot of people would be very happy to own this bike well after they've got rid of their uh, learner's permit or the provisional license. Now the fuel tank is just a shade over 17 litres in capacity and surprisingly the fuel economy is not really any different to a 675. Now I think that is partly down to the fact that you tend to be probably revving this bike a little bit harder. When, sort of when you're in attack mode, but that's what I can put it down to. Uh, that gives you around about 300 kilometers out of a tank, which is pretty good. And the thing about it, when you do want to twist a throttle, the sound is no different than the 675. It's got that beautiful banshee wail out of the three cylinder inline engine, and the engine really is a gem. You know, there's not a lot to fault on this bike. Overall, it's a really, really good package and it's $12,490 plus on-road cost. Now to me, that's a bargain. So Nige, the viewers now know what I think of this bike, which I'm pretty impressed by it. But what do you think of it? You, you spent some time on it, you had, took it away for a weekend. What do you think of the bike? I think it's a great bike. Like, sure, it's learner approved, but with 55 horsepower, it's not a slouch by any means. It gets up to the speed limit, and cruises on the freeway at uh, highway speeds, with no drama at all. So given that Lambs bikes hold their value really well, uh, because there's always learners coming through that are looking for something second hand, I think anybody buying a new one today is going to get good value out of it. I especially like things like the, the way it steers and the way it stops. It's got the ABS brakes as standard and uh, that gives you a lot of confidence, especially in the wet. You add in a 24 month warranty so you know you're going to get good reliability for, uh, for, the, for the first two years they cover it completely and it adds up to a really good package. So there you go, we've had a few people ride this bike from old guys like us to some young riders off their provisional license straight onto their blacks. So they're inexperienced in a way and everyone's loved it. They all think it's a great package, so check one out at your local Triumph dealer. You might be old, but I'm not. <laughs> the Triumph Street 666 is available now from Triumph dealers across Australia. Get more information from www.triumphmotorcycles.com.au